Hello everyone, Emo Panda Cat here, and today we are doing a wall guns only challenge on Bus Depot. Um, I don't have very high hopes for this one. Um, yeah, I am letting myself use a knife, pistol, grenades, uh, along with wall guns. I don't know, it's like round 10, maybe a realistic goal. I, I really don't know. We don't have many weapons choices. I mean, we have the Olympia... The M14, the MP5, uh, the Remington. I think that's it. Um, I don't think there, I don't think there's Syntex grenades on Bus Depot. Are there? I don't know, but this is a this is a pretty bare bones map, and I believe it's the smallest map, at least for that time, at least for this time. I don't feel like waiting for. Her. But this is definitely one of the smallest maps ever. That much is certain. Payphones. You don't see many payphones these days. I haven't seen a working one in at least a year. That was at a truck stop. Some truck stops still use them. So how's everyone doing today? I hope everyone's doing well. What are you standing there for, man? Or woman? Come on. Um, so I think the tactic's gonna be to stay in here until, like, round four. Or maybe round three. We'll see. Max Ammo. Uh, thank you. I haven't really been playing much COD recently. Um... I haven't been playing a whole lot of anything recently, really. I've been pretty busy with just life and work and whatnot. Plus, to be busy, though, you know? Busy can be a good thing. Alright, they pouring in over here. I gotta go down to the store later today. Need to get hand soap. Probably gonna grab a case of Monster. I'll probably just get a four-pack, actually. Been trying to save money and uh, cutting back on Monster because it's expensive. You know? Used to not be so bad back when it was like $2 a can. <sighs> I mean, sometimes I'll buy like a pallet of it on Amazon or whatever. And then it's only about $1.50 a can, provided you don't get a more rare flavor, if that makes sense. Like, if you're just getting a normal flavor. It averages out to be about like a dollar fifty a can. Um, I think like Ultra Black. I almost got a case of that. That's more a one time. That's more like a dollar seventy five a can for a twenty four pack. I really want to try Ultra Black, but like I don't want to buy a whole case of something that I don't know if I'll like it. While most monsters I do like, there are a few that I don't like. Why am I even trying to save up points? I'm suddenly like, wait, what do I need all these points for? There are only like a few guns I can even get. So let's just go ahead and get this. And get this. I believe that's it. Boom. Ooh, gonna save that nuke. I will take that nuke. Remington just looks cool, if you ask me. I'm not sure which I'd say looks cooler, the Remington, the stakeout, but the Remington definitely looks awesome. I tried to use it in multiplayer one time. Didn't work out too well. Never was a big multiplayer person. I was usually a sniper whenever I did play it. Like I said, I do not know what a reasonable round expectation is. Like, round 5, round 10. I mean, we're probably good for at least round 5. The very first time I played this, alright, I don't know how I did it. I was a complete noob at that time. I made it till round 22. Or somewhere between 20 to 22. I don't remember exactly. But I've never been able to do that again. Maybe it was just beginner's luck. I don't know. That being said, I don't really believe in luck, but if you do, you do. If you don't, you don't. 
Double points. I mean, I don't have any reason to not get it, so... Might be smarty to board that up, though. Oh, uh, where is everyone? And a quick shout-out to Ulti Energy. If that sounds interesting. Ooh, another nuke. Come on, where's the last zombie? Uh, use code EMOCAT70 for 10% off. Link in the description. Definitely worth trying. Mostly here recently I've been drinking Ulti and G Fuel versus Monster just to try and save some money. Alright. Alright. Might kill one or two with it. I wonder what I think. Wonder what the highest round for this map is. I doubt it's insanely high. I mean, you you can only get there's like nothing here really. It is easier than DS zombies though. In DS zombies, if you get hit once, you just die instantly. DS zombies is uh definitely hard. That being said, the very first Call of Duty I owned with zombies was Black Ops on the DS. First ever COD I owned was World at War on the DS. Which I recently got a new copy of off of eBay for like $6.50. Which is, was a little strange because most people, they, go, they usually go for about 20 even for just a cartridge. This dude only wanted like 6 bucks or six fifty or whatever it was. So I was like, okay, you know, I wasn't sure if it would, if it was legit or not, but it actually arrived, and it's the real thing. It works. Hey, can't complain with that. Free shipping, by the way. It wasn't track shipping, which I understand. Where's the last zombie? We need to get ammo. I think that'd be a wise investment, especially since we have nothing else to spend our points on. Boom! Get wrecked. Bus. Boo. B. <sighs> Black Ops 2 is definitely a good game. One of the best games of all time, if you ask me. I'm a little sleepy right now, by the way. Just been trying to wake up Saturday morning and not doing much. Okay, this is going to get interesting. Okay, you go boom, and no, 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 no. Oh, shoot. Round six. I got pancaked. Oh, well. I'll take it. It is what it is. That's my video. Hope you enjoyed watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe, and comment. Always remember that God loves you, and you are awesome. Have a great day.